Crow's feet. Okay, question from Roma Dog. Um, and I'm going to put his channel here. He's the very first person to ask me a question, and he's got a channel. It's, I've subscribed to it. It's uh, not for everybody, it's philosophy. He's a um, really talented young man who's got amazing philosophy, which plays to my um, spiritual side. So, who or what inspired you to become a vlogger, if any? Who are some of the YouTubers you watch? So the first part of that question is a two-parter. So um, who and what inspired you to become a vlogger? Become a vlogger. Vlogging. It's so rude, isn't it? It sounds pornographic. It sounds like something from Avenue Q. I sit upstairs all afternoon and vlog myself on YouTube. I don't tell my mother I said that, will you? Um, yes, it does sound pornographic. But uh, I've been a YouTuber for a couple of years now, 2006. Didn't have any equipment to actually broadcast myself on the net. But um, why did I go on here? I am very sad. I love commercials, and I love commercials from when I was a kid. I work in advertising, I love them. Now, some of the commercials that I look up, very sad, very, very sad. I look up things like um, Girls World. Who remembers Girls World? I wanted a Girls World when I was a kid. I loved Girls World. Severed head in a box. How disturbing. Um, but there is, um, there's, a, there's a video about it, and it's down here. I'm going to put them all down here on the response line I'll put the videos down there um, and gosh all the stuff I had do you remember the 80s I had the uh, the the McDonald's advert two all beef patties special sauce relish cheese pickles onions in a seven sesame seed bun yeah do you remember that I love that advert it's down there and also the Weetabix advert with the Weetabix people oh my god okay he's down there as well oh, I love I'm so sad. Um, other things, finger fudge. And um, marathon. Oh my God, do you remember when it was marathon? Marathon, when Snickers was marathon? In the UK, Snickers was marathon. They did a whole huge marketing campaign to change it back to Snickers. And everybody was talking about it. It was a big advert. But it used to be packed with peanuts, slice after slice. <laughs> marathon and there it is it's down there oh my god and the one last one i'm gonna put down there all chocolate related um this was really disturbing and i was really scared of it who else was scared of it the kinder surprise humpty dumpty kinder surprise my god how many of us had those um horrible piece of chocolate lots of money a crappy little toy that got sucked up the hoover. Now, what did we used to do with them? Me and my brother used to use the little yellow bit, the yellow bean thing. Did anybody else do this? We used to put marble in it and we used to run them down little slopes and have races. And they were like, I know, like jumping beans that you used to get jumping beans. But we used to make these uh, things from the Kinder Surprise. So lots of money for a little tiny piece of plastic and it was crap. But <laughs> it was really scary advert stuck back down there as well so that's one of the reasons why I got onto YouTube and um, why did I vlog love the sound of my own voice <laughs> really do I do I don't shut up and I know people here that agree with me tell me to shut up all the time I don't care I enjoy it this is a really good hobby I'm really enjoying myself but um people who inspired me is a really big thing um with YouTube because there's some really wonderful people on here that do some vlogs do videos and do some really good work um unlike mine mine's just yada 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 gas in the way no big real huge big thing but um some of the people i subscribe to now i'm going to start with the first one here because i've written them down these are real people who i have really inspired me a lot of them have inspired me here um the first one and probably one of the most the first two 
well all of them really but this is one of the first people that I really um, think is amazing and she's got an amazing story on here on YouTube go and watch her because she's the most humble beautiful person that I ever have met here on YouTube her name well her channel name is Panacea 81 now most of you will probably have heard of her her name's Lauren and she lives in in the UK here in the UK I think she lives in up north somewhere and she sits in her bedroom and she teaches you how to put makeup on your face how to do fantastic eye makeup and people type into her and ask her to do a look and she does these amazing looks now she was one of the first people I subscribed to and she is the most beautiful person she's become extremely famous she has now going to be launching her own uh, makeup range and can I just say that this person has had all these things happen to her and she is the most humble person you could ever meet it hasn't changed her she's still the same Lauren that sits up in her bedroom and she's lovely and it's such a delight to watch her please subscribe to her because you, if you want to learn how to do makeup and I love makeup watch her it's amazing she's such an amazing person she's got two little dogs one's a pug and bless him he snores in the background sometimes and she has done fantastically well she is an inspiration to an awful lot of people and anyone that subscribes to her or watches her loves her dearly we all love you Lauren so it's a big hug to you because I know that you get really busy and you get inundated and she's one of the YouTube success stories here in the UK so well done Do you know what girl you deserve everything because you're an amazing person so that's why it's my little it was the Oscars last week. I'm doing a whole blimmin' what's her name? Kate Winslet. I'll start crying. I forget. I have to write down because I forget people. Next person, Wonder Robbie. Oh, Wonder Robbie, watch him. Now he's a guy from the states. He's in Manhattan, and he does vlogs. He vid video logs, and he's just fantastic. One thing about Robbie that I just he captured my heart with the Xanadu thing. Love Xanadu. Always love. You know me. I love musicals. Love Xanadu. And uh, he's a fellow musical lover. Um, and he's just so cool. He also does like a whole miming thing to to drag. But he's not. He doesn't dress in drag on here. But it's really entertaining. Go and watch him. And because of him, I also met the next person, which is um, Aunt Barbara. <laughs> this is the most fantastic thing Aunt Barbara please subscribe to Aunt Barbara she sells Tupperware on YouTube and it's so funny she's from Long Island and okay in the UK we won't be able to buy off of her site or anything but she's so funny she's like a 1950s housewife and it's so I'm sure she I think she's a drag queen I'm sorry if you're not but you just so funny it's a bit like Pan Am and all that it's Lily Savage an American Lily Savage selling Tupperware and it's so funny and it, she really does sell Tupperware on YouTube watch it it's the most hilarious thing ever 